North Florida State Vet Treatment Center, Maynard Cox. I've caught snakes in people's kitchens, in people's bedrooms, in people's cars, in people's boats, uh, in the trash cans, dryers. I have found pygmy rattlers in toilet bowls. For no more than $35 a pop, the snake man will rid your house of the ultimate pest. But I've even had them be up on people's beds when they called. When I got there, the snake would be just coiled up there looking at them. It was there. I'm not sure if it was, it's still there or not. It may have gone through the crevice. I'm not sure about it. Okay. And I don't want to find out about it, so... <laughs> For rattler wrangling, life-saving medical advice, and all-around relief for snake sufferers, who are you going to call? Up oh, here he is. Maynard has caught upwards of 7,500 snakes by his own count, been bitten 139 times, was declared dead twice, and lost half a finger. I was doing this one day, and there was a big old yellow rat snake, and I was pushing the bush all around. The damn snake reached out, bit me in the arm, and he was halfway up the bush. <laughs> and if he really likes you, right there. he'll throw in a little snake lore on the house. When I was in the Navy, I was catching haboos in Okinawa, and I was catching haboos in, uh, in uh, rattlesnakes in Korea. I caught cobras and uh, bamboo pit vipers in Vietnam. To this day, I've not seen one that I haven't caught when I went after him. And I've caught, um, in fact, up in the Philippines, I caught a 36-foot uh, anaconda that had just swallowed a 40-pound pig. Maynard is Clay County's idea of a local hero, with good reason. Catching snakes in people's houses is the most dangerous job I know of other than handle hand grenades. And if he's in the house, He's hurt, mad, cornered, and scared, and that's the only time a snake will hurt you. Maynard is not just the best there is. He's the only one there is. When it comes to catching snakes, even the long arm of the law is short-handed. Yeah, yeah. Have no fear of call Maynard, yes. <laughs> well, I said he comes to a lot of our calls, so it, if it wasn't for him, I think I would have probably just checked the yard and, and, and maybe just, you know told her if she sees him to call us back. Yeah. Um, we're trained in a lot of things, but not handling snakes. Hi yes. there. You've got a snake here, yes, you say? please hurry. He's huge. We're, we're he's huge. Right oh, and he's right here. Oh, my God. One of the big myths we have, people think they've got to be out in the dark, deep woods where the uh, snakes really live. Well, that's not the case. Oh, be careful. Urbia has moved out to where the snakes are, so snakes can be found almost everywhere in the seven southeastern states. Every year in the United States, thousands of people are bitten by snakes. In Elizabeth's neck of the woods, the only thing that can spread faster than venom is fear. Once you realize a poor old snake has had an awfully poor press ever since Adam and Eve's day, and this is compounded daily with outright lives of mankind, you know every time the word snake is mentioned, somebody's going to lie to you, and then the panic sets in. And I mean they can really panic. <laughs> Feeling a little skittish about snakes? Are your nerves a little rattled? Well, maybe it's time you separated fang from fiction. Attention Walmart shoppers, we have Mr. Maynard Cott, a world-renowned herpetologist. He's in the main action alley by soft lines ladies wear. Cluing people in to what's real about snakes is all part of Maynard's mission. Hi there, how are you today? Those chill things around your house. Snakes do attack, but nearly half of all bites occur on the hand. A sure sign that the victim was probably the one asking for trouble. <laughs> Yeah, you can put two fingers on, if you don't mind. The yeah, truth is, right. only about 12 people a year die of snake bites in this country. Far fewer than the number killed by bee stings or lightning bolts. 
very beneficial. Everybody needs one in their yard to keep all the rats and mice and squirrels away. Come on. Come on. Come on, Jamie. Look at me. Come on, Jamie. Right there. Then again, maybe having a bit of the jitters is not such a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Florida Snake Bat Treatment Center, Maynard Cox. Thank goodness I got somebody. Listen, I'm trying to find the snake man. He's moving around. He looks oh, like yeah. he's got fangs in his mouth. Is it a sure it's a rattlesnake? I think it might have had a long, skinny whip like tail rather than a short, fat, stubby one. I think so. Yeah, picked it up. It came alive and nailed him. Every now and then, Maynard gets a call that makes even his skin crawl. Like the one from Sam Hollingsworth. There was a beautiful rattlesnake laying on the side of the road. We stopped, assuming that he was dead, went to pick the snake up behind his head, as I've done so many times before without any uh, bad results. But the snake wasn't dead. It felt threatened and instinctively froze in place. When that didn't work, it changed its tactics. Damn, how'd you stand all that pain? I'll tell you what, I cried all that Friday night. Oh, you bet your butt, I understand. Well, I'm surprised you was conscious enough to cry. Because I stayed unconscious last time I was bitten like that. Because they were just working hard and vigorously trying to uh, save my life at that time. Sam may be through the worst, but he's not out of the woods yet. folks in these parts will never run the risk of getting bitten. But if they do... We'll get there as quick as we can. Maynard's on the case. Can you make a man pass? with a mission. We're gonna in the kitchen in there. How you doing today? If a snake should bite you, tourniquets don't work. Cutting and sucking doesn't work. So, keep the victim lying down, keep him quiet, and take him to the hospital. Let me see your finger again where it actually is. His greatest reward is simply right. knowing right he's helped. Well, he nailed you twice, huh? <laughs> it's good to see you after you got out of the hospital there, Tiger. It is odd company that Maynard keeps, but it's we, after all who've tried on the snake's turf. OK, little boy, here's your new home. Set. Go back to the woods, son. At the end of each day, Maynard sets the snakes he's caught free. Yeah. Let him go back to the woods. He'll do us all more good alive than he will dead. 